a symbol of open revolt. Republicans in the House of Representatives today staging a symbolic mask-free walk to the Senate where masks are not required. They're battling a new rule saying House members have to wear masks inside chambers. GOP Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted her own video of the protest. In her video, she writes on Twitter, quote, crossing back into Speaker Maskhole's land of COVID, referring to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. That was just one display. This institution is a sham, and we should adjourn and shut this place down. Texas Republican Congressman Chip Roy led an unsuccessful vote to shut down the House over the new mask rules. We have a crisis at our border. And we're playing footsie with mask mandates in the people's house. You all put masks, masks up front here. Which is it, vaccines or masks? Do the vaccines work or they don't work? Do the masks work so they don't work? Congressman, do you plan to continue? House Republicans also held a tense meeting with the House attending physician, Dr. Brian Monahan. Sources in the room telling CNN they grilled Monahan on whether he was pressured by Democratic leaders to institute the mask rule. Monahan insisted he wasn't pressured, the sources say. Still, the debate over the CDC's new guidelines for mask wearing across the country has not only gotten political in Washington, it's gotten personal. That's Speaker Pelosi saying, quote, he's such a moron, slamming the GOP minority leader Kevin McCarthy for his tweet saying new calls for mask wearing are, quote, not a decision based on science. McCarthy fired back at Pelosi, accusing her of politicizing medicine and of outright hypocrisy. Just today I watched her in a private meeting not wearing a mask. On the first day of the new mask requirement for the House, at least 24 Republicans seen openly defying it, including Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. We know science is real. A witness tells CNN Boebert threw a mask. Boebert's office says she simply slid the mask back across a table. One analyst says while politicians like Lauren Boebert may not be household names across the country, their resistance to mask wearing can have a real impact. Seeing her say, no, we're not going to do it, people look at that and say, well, we, we don't have to either. They're mainly trying to appeal to this, the, the part of their constituencies who think this is all a conspiracy against them by the Democrats to uh, impose their will on them. And an epidemiologist has a warning tonight about America making mask wearing political again. We're going to see the same thing happen that we saw last year when politics got in the way of public health. We're going to see the virus win.